welcome to my channel. I got this book out of the library and wanted to do a little review of it. This is Helter Skelter, Fashion Unfriendly by Kyoko Okazaki. And it is published by Vertical, I think. Um, the library tag is covering the publisher. Um, but I'm, yeah, Vertical. So here's the cover. I really like it. It's just white and it's of um, the main character taking off the bandages on her face and seeing her new face for the first time. This book is about a model. We do not know her age, it never tells us, um, and but we know that she used to be ugly and she was picked up by a woman who said that she could make her a star and so she put her through tons and tons and tons of plastic surgery and basically made an entire, entirely new body for this girl. And so her name's Liliko, and she's like the number one model in Japan. And um, yeah, so this is her, this is her story of her kind of at the, at the height of her, her popularity and then just going downhill. Um, her body and mind just deteriorating um, to, to a point of no return. Um, so this, this is not a happy book, uh, as you could probably tell by the cover anyway. Um, this is, you're, you're watching and experiencing a human being at their absolute worst. Um, you're watching this girl uh, physically and mentally fall apart. So it does have color pages at the beginning. Some of them of our, this one is fine to show. Some of them are her naked. So I'll skip that one, and then this one is really nice. I like the one on the next page a lot, but uh, she's naked, so I can't show you that one. But um, they're just gorgeous color pages. The art is not what I was expecting it to be. Um, it's very different than what I was expecting. These are like the character de designs. There's Liliko. Uh, there's the woman um, who's kind of like... Uh, that's the woman who, who turned her into a star. And I will say... Maybe I was reading it too fast. I did read it in one sitting, but I got some of the characters confused because they kind of looked the same. Um, something else I like about this book is that it has these like uh, fashion or not fashion, sorry, gossip magazine kind of segments where it is from there's a picture, you know, paparazzi photo, and then they have like an article underneath. So you're seeing it from a few different perspectives. The perspectives of the the perspective of the media telling her story and kind of watching her um, fall apart, get involved with people uh, who she may or may not, uh, you know, supposed she might not supposed to be with. Um, and then you're also seeing kind of her mental uh, deterioration. But I think that the story is kind of told from the perspective of the makeup artist, I believe. Um, he, you don't see him very much in here, but I think it's him telling the story, um, of when he was Lily Coe's, uh, makeup artist, uh, for her career. And there are, the other kind of main character that she interacts with the most is her manager. Now, when I read this, I thought the manager and the makeup artist were the same person. Uh, because they look kind of similar uh, and I was getting really confused but I figured it out by the end of it that they were two separate people uh, the manager is a woman the, the makeup artist is a, is a guy and um, I was just really confused but I think that might have been because I was just reading too fast um, but the character designs are not really what I was expecting them to be some of like the the backgrounds are quite simple um, you know there's a lot of pictures like this where she's just like a mess there's Naruto um, where she's just a wreck the story itself is really good um, if you're okay with with heavy topics there's a lot of sex in this book uh, a lot of nudity um, it, it goes into the fashion industry, um, it introduces a younger model who's like naturally pretty, who didn't have to go through rounds and rounds of plastic surgery. 
um, to be famous. So it, it kind of introduces that and her mental state of watching this young girl, um, you know, surpass her without having to go through what she did. Um, it goes into the underground plastic surgery clinics and, and the horrific things that they do to these women who pay so much money um, to be pretty. And it has like very, very terrible effects physically and mentally on people when you're putting foreign substances into your body like that, um, that are not approved safety wise. Um, yeah, so it, it, it is really, really cool how it um, kind of tackles all of these big issues, not in a judgmental way. This book is not trying to tell you don't have plastic surgery or, you know, hate on the, the modeling industry and, and all of that. It's just commenting on uh, female self-esteem. Um, you meet Liliko's younger sister um, and get to kind of see her growing up. Um, and it's really, really fascinating because it's not judging. That's, at least that's not how I interpreted it. Um, when I was reading it, it didn't feel judgmental. It just felt like it was telling this story kind of as a, uh, an eye opener for people who maybe don't know that this stuff happens. Um, but yeah, so it comments on the plastic surgery industry and the, and especially the underground plastic surgery industry. Um, it touches on self-esteem and, and and standards of beauty and the perception of the public. I really love that part of, of this story is, is watching, um, it'll go into like uh, random scenes of like inside classrooms and, and girls talking about the new magazine cover that Lily goes on, um, you know, and it, it really touches on society's standards of beauty and, and how fake some of this stuff can be, you know, and how, how horrific Liliko's story is, but none of those people knew that. Um, as they're looking at her magazine covers going, wow, she's gorgeous, I wish I looked like her, not knowing that her entire body has been modified by an underground plastic surgery clinic. And yeah, it's just fantastic. It's a really good story. It's really hard to read. These characters are not nice people. Um, they're all very troubled and it's hard to watch because you're literally watching this girl deteriorate um, and wither away to nothing. And so it's hard to read, it's, but it's, I think it's important. Um, I think this would be a really cool book um, to get into high schools, honestly, because it really touches on self-esteem and body image and, and um, the implications of, of society's standards of beauty and how unattainable those can be. Um, yeah, if you have any more questions about this book, like I said, I didn't buy it, I got it out of the library because um, it is, it's by Vertical and it's it's a one-shot uh, manga and it's kind of a bit more pricey than I can afford at the moment, but um, I'll probably buy it one day if I get the chance, but it's uh, it was really good and I really enjoyed it and I really recommend reading it, um, yeah. So if you have any more questions on it, definitely let me know. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, check out more of my videos if you're up for it. Thanks.